This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. In this part, we are going to deal with the new chapter. The name of the chapter is Thermal Properties of Matter. So, as the name suggests, we are going to discuss about the thermal properties of matter. In this particular chapter, we are going to study introduction, temperature and heat. Measurement of temperature, ideal gas equation, and absolute temperature, thermal expansion, specific heat capacity, calorimetry, change of state. Heat transfer, Newton's law of cooling. So, we are going to study about each and every concept in detail in this particular chapter. Okay. So, first moving to the introductory part. See, we all have that common sense notions of heat and temperature, isn't it? Yes, this temperature is nothing but the measure of hotness of a body. What is the degree of hotness? That's what we call it as temperature. A kettle with boiling water is hotter than a box containing ice. In physics, we need to define the notion of heat temperature etc more carefully so in this particular chapter you are going to learn what is heat and how it is measured and even you are going to study the various process by which heat flows from one body to another along the way even you will need to find out why blacksmiths heat the iron ring before fitting on the rim of a wooden wheel of a block cord and why the wind at the beach often reverses direction after the sun goes down. So, for all these things, there is a reason which is related to this thermal property of matter. So, about all those things, we are going to study in this particular chapter in detail. Okay. Temperature and heat. See, we can begin the studying thermal properties of matter with the definitions of temperature and heat. Temperature is a relative measure or you can say it is the indication of hotness or coldness. As I told you before, temperature is a measure of hotness of a body. A hot utensil is said to have high temperature and an ice cube to have a low temperature, isn't it? So, compared to utensils, the temperature of ice cube is comparatively less. An object that has a higher temperature than another object is said to be hotter. Hot and cold are relative terms like uh, tall and short. And even we can perceive temperature by touch. When you touch the utensil, you can feel that hotness, isn't it? So, we can feel it. However, this temperature sense is somewhat unreliable and its range is too limited to be useful for scientific purpose. We, all, okay, we know from our experience uh, that a glass of ice cold water left on a table on a hot summer day eventually warms up whereas a cup of hot tea in the, on the same table cools down. Why so? It means that uh, when the temperature of body, ice or cold water or hot tea in this case and its surrounding medium are different, heat transport takes place between the system and the surrounding medium. 
until the body as well as the surrounding medium are at the same temperature so we also know that in case of glass tumbler of ice cold water heat flows from the environment to the glass tumbler whereas in case of hot tea it flows from cup of hot tea to the environment so we can say that heat is a form of energy between two or more systems heat is a form of energy which is transport between two or more systems or in other words heat is a system and its surrounding heat is a form of energy that is transformed between two or more systems or a system and its surroundings by virtue of temperature difference okay the si unit of heat energy transport is expressed in terms of joule SI unit of heat while the SI unit of temperature is kelvin and uh, degree celsius is commonly used as the unit of temperature okay not only kelvin uh, degree celsius we also use this as a unit for temperature okay and when an object is heated many changes may take place its temperature may rise it may expand or it may change its state okay so whenever an object okay we we heat the object many changes it may take place in that ob object that change can be in the form of expansion or it can be in the form of temperature rise or it may change its state only it can be anything so we'll study about these things measurement of temperature now we are going to study the new topic that is measurement of temperature a measure of temperature is usually obtained using a thermometer we all know that the temperature is measured using an instrument that is called as thermometer many physical properties of materials change sufficiently with temperature to be used as the basis for constructing thermometers the one commonly used uh, property in variation of the volume of a liquid with temperature this is what we use in thermometer isn't it we use mercury in the thermometer the property of that mercury we are going to use that uh, to measure the temperature that is the commonly used property in is uh, variation of volume of a liquid with temperature
this is the property that we use in thermometer okay for example a common thermometer means uh, the liquid in glass type with which you are familiar mercury and alcohol are the liquids which are used in most of these uh, liquid in glass thermometers so usually mercury and alcohol is used in the thermometer these thermometers are calibrated so that a numerical value may be assigned to a given temperature for the definition of any standard scale two fixed reference points are needed since all the substances change dimensions with temperature an absolute reference or expansion is not available however the necessary fixed points may be correlated to the physical phenomena that always occur at the same temperature means the ice point and the stream point of water are the two convenient fixed points and they are known as freezing and boiling points so we need to fix those two points so we take that uh, physical phenomena okay we will relate those fixed points to the physical phenomena so we take that freezing and boiling points we, because they occur at the same temperature so we can consider them as the fixed points and these two points are the temperatures at which pure water freezes and boils under the standard pressure okay the two familiar temperature scales are fahrenheit temperature scale and celsius temperature scale okay the two familiar temperature scales that we use one is fahrenheit and celsius temperature scale and the ice and stream point have values of 32 degree fahrenheit and 212 degree fahrenheit ice point is 32 degree fahrenheit and stream point to 12 degree fahrenheit okay if you this is on the fahrenheit scale in uh, celsius scale it is uh, 0 degree celsius and 100 degree celsius the freezing point of water is 0 degree celsius and the boiling point is 100 degree celsius okay on the fahrenheit scale there are 180 equal intervals between two reference points whereas on the celsius case there are 100 equal points okay on the fahrenheit scale there are 180 equal intervals whereas on the celsius scale there are 100 equal intervals a relationship for converting between the two scales may be obtained from the graph of fahrenheit temperature 
versus uh, Celsius temperature in a figure. This using this graph we can obtain that uh, equation. So that equation, this is the uh, plot of uh, Fahrenheit temperature. Here it is, and the Celsius temperature. Okay, and the relation that we get is. Temperature in Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 180 is equal to temperature in uh, Celsius divided by 100. So, using this relation, we can convert Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay.